All right, ladies and gentlemen, so welcome to your software portion of the UAD lesson. So how to use the UAD interfaces in the studio, how to get people recorded, how to send them mixes, all that kind of stuff. All right, so let's get right into it. First thing you're going to do, we have a logic session right here. We're going to go down to this app right here, console. You want to click on that. What that's going to open up is the digital console for the UAD interfaces, the Apollo and the X8. Now, first thing we need to know is that these faders down here at the bottom, these faders at the bottom only send signal to the monitors in the studio. All right. These faders down here on the bottom only send signal to the monitors, not to the headphones or anything like that. Uh, you might want to take notes on that. All right. Again, these faders right here only send uh signal or volume to the monitors in the room this section up here where it says sends see that and there's one for each track if you look right here this is where you would send a signal to the headphones okay so what this allows you to do is send individual mixes to headphones okay so i'm going to click on this sends right here and notice that my voice is coming through on this channel right here, Q1. I'm in Q1, I'm plugged into Q1. Q1 means headphone one. So if you look at the Apollo, uh, in case you haven't seen the video on the hardware portion, which you already should have, you'll notice that there's a Q1 and a Q2, right? So this is headphone port one right here. And if I didn't have this volume up, I could not hear anything. So let's say that you were plugged in, you were in the studio with me and you wanted to have headphones on or you had headphones on and you wanted to hear my voice as well. Let's say you were plugged in the Q3 right here, headphone three. So I would then bring this fader up and this would give you volume over my, vo I mean, that would, this would feed you the signal that's coming out of the, the microphone where my voice is. Now you see how now all of a sudden Q3 is jumping. Uh, when I mean, when I say individual mix, this is what I mean. Let's say that we're in a session. You are, you're in the session, you got headphones on and you don't want to hear my voice as loudly as I do. So this is mine, right? I'm on Q1 and I want to hear my voice really loud. So I would bring mine up and let's say you're like, Hey, uh, bring my, bring your voice down a little bit in my mix. So I would go to this fader, which is Q3, you're on Q3, and I would just bring you down. This allows us to have an individual mix of whatever's coming out of that channel, okay? Uh, let me give you another example. Let's say we were to go, I'm gonna go to YouTube, I'm gonna turn on this, I'm gonna play this uh, lo-fi thing. See, it's playing, and you can't hear anything. But notice, if you look down here at the monitor mix, notice that where it says Mac Audio, there's a signal, you see that? And notice here on my microphone, there's a signal. I'm not gonna bring these faders up because it would churn up the speakers in the room and then there would be feedback. But anything coming out of the Mac, from YouTube, iTunes, a website, anything, any sound coming out of the map that's not logic is gonna go into this channel right here. That's why it says Mac Audio. But if I were to go up to the sends right here, and I were to say you were in Q3, and I were to bring Q3 up, see how now you can start to see a signal? Let's say that you wanted your music there, and then another person in the room wanted to hear more of the music, then I, and they were in Q2, I could give them more of the music. So see what I mean? You're able to personalize the mix. So if you have four musicians in the room, everybody's gonna want something different in their, in their headphones, right? So you're able to do that. You're able to create an individual mix through the sends. Same thing if I were to go, I'm going to go to Logic. I'm actually going to stop the YouTube one. I'm going to go to Logic. And I have this session here, right? So if I hit play, again, you can't hear anything. But if I were to go back to the console right here, UAD console, now you'll notice that two things are happening here. Logic. Anything coming out of Logic except for the click. So anything coming out of here except for the click is going to be coming out of this channel right here, Logic. Again, if we go up to the sends, 
I could send you. Say you want the music nice and loud. Say the person next to you does not want as much. When they say, all right, that's good. See, and you're able to send different mixes. I'm not going to send Q1 because Q1 is what I'm on. And then if I do that, it will blast the music and you won't be able to hear my beautiful voice. So I'm going to bring these back down. And that's how you would send the musicians the music. Now, let's say that the musicians want click, right? Now, you see this right here where it says click. If you click on the sends there, you can send each person, just like I said before, however much click they want. And, it, and everybody's able to get an individual mix. So same process. Uh, I have the click divided from the rest of the Logic Music. That way you are able to send everybody a personalized mix through the sends. Okay. If this does not make sense, I need you to come get me. And I need you to ask whatever questions you need to ask. Okay. So I'm going to hit stop on Logic. I'm going to stop this session. And we're going to go back to the console. Okay, so again, sends is what allows you to send the signals to headphones. These faders down here only send signal to the monitors. Your panning knobs are right here, left and right. And you know what panning does, right? So these are all here. They should all be in the center unless you are working on something where you would like everything panned. And uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go up here to this section. So just like with Logic, right? So look, if I go to Logic. Uh, pff, my bad, I closed the session. I'm just going to open up a new session in Logic so we can take a look at this. There we go. So you know how your plugins are in the audio effects window right here. In the console, if we go back to the console, the plugins are right here inserts so logic has them as audio effects here it just says inserts inserts means plugins very important see that inserts means plugins if we click on this one of these little boxes like i'll click on this one click on that it will bring up all of the plugins just like in logic and then you can pick whichever plugin you want to use whether it's a compressor um, a mastering plugin whatever and you can add your plugins that way. If you look here on my on my SM7B microphone, I have some plugins set up already. See that? This is just basic basic info. All right, we're gonna get more advanced as we go through this. But right now, this is the basic info. So these are the things that I have on my voice right now. These are the plugins. You can also pull these plugins up in Logic, but it's better to have them plugged in here. I'm going to explain all that later on, and then you can go back to Logic later. And uh, when you're mixing in the box, you can add them that way. So I'm going to close Logic, and let's see. I think that's it. That's it, guys. So make sure you take notes on all this. You're going to be testing on all of this. And remember, in order to use the studio by yourself, you must be 100% trusted, which means you must pass this with a 100. Anyway, guys, thank you for your time. Hope you took notes. If not, rewind the video. And uh, yeah, let's get ready to start engineering.